Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. It's very early in the morning here folks and kind of hot if you will. Uh, right now it's very early like I said and it, oh it's probably about 75 but it's going to reach up probably about 90 today and that's something we're not used to here in the south. We're not used to that but we're we're gradually going to adopt or adapt rather, excuse me. Listen, I've got a special treat for you, but before we do this, I'm gonna make a very short video, hopefully. I wanna thank you, my subscribers. We are growing at, an, at a rate like we have not grown in the past, and we wanna keep it that way. If you like this content, what I'm bringing to you every week, I want you to take and prayerfully consider becoming a subscriber. With your help, we can reach a level that we've never reached before. And that's, that's our goal, is to uh, build this channel and help it to grow. And with your help, we can do that. So support this channel, if you will. If you like this content, uh, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That is very important to me. And always remember as well, don't, don't, don't think that we don't read your comments. I love reading your comments on any particular item, any particular gun, anything that I am reviewing. Don't hesitate to drop us a comment in the box below and let us know what you think. We welcome your comments. So that's enough about this. Now this is my topic. I want to show you another beautiful gun. I'm a little bit sweaty, so you can kind of bear with me. That's, that's the way it is. I, I sweat. Today I've got something that I want to share with you that is totally awesome to me. Take a good look at this beautiful shotgun. Now I'm going to give you a close up view of this beautiful baby. I'm going to do it very slow. I'm not going to get in any hurry here. Take a look at this. This is nothing shy of a cannon. Let me turn it around. I, 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 can't, I just can't take my eyes off of this. I mean, it is so pretty. But that's only half the story. You're wondering, what in the world is that thing? Take a look at that. It's just like brand new. Awesome. It is just like brand new. Right down to the end of the barrel. Now, let me satisfy your curiosity. You shooters that watch me every week, I want to tell you that this is a Browning. And it is an awesome gun. This is a Browning Invecta BPS Special Steel 10 gauge. You heard me right, it is a 10 gauge. It's a field model 24. The Invecta BPS. Special steel. Field model 24, 10 gauge. I am just actually blown away with the quality of this beautiful gun. I'm going to share a little history. Actually, I don't have a whole lot to share with you, but I want to share the features. First of all, let me tell you that this gun was actually, I believe it debuted in 1998, but just recently it has been discontinued. Now, this gun is definitely not cheap. Far from it, this gun is not cheap. I'm going to tell you something. It's got some features to it that will blow your mind. First of all, let me say that it is from end to end. From end to end, it's 48 inches long. 
It has a 26 inch raised sight bead barrel, 26 inches long. And I'm gonna tell you, it has the trigger switch right where you want it with your hand grip. So easy to reach. Look, look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is totally awesome. Now, of course, it's the only one that I've shot in the Browning line that has both bottom load and bottom eject. Now that is cool. Very, very cool. Now, of course, it is a pump. And of course, this magazine, I believe, I wanna say it holds, oh my goodness. That one slipped by me. I think it's four or five. Now let me let me reach down in my pockets and get these bullets out. Let me tell you, when you have a beautiful gun and I'm shooting a beautiful gun, it gets me excited. I'm an ex I would hope and I would like to leave to you an impression that I am excited about a gun especially this gun now here I will tell you that this is a three and a half inch mag three and a half inch mag this is a Winchester take a good look at that bullet that is a Winchester three and a half inch supreme number four shot now I'm going to tell you something, folks. Over the years, I have discovered a few things about shooting. Some of the older guns, in comparison with today's guns, they are comparable to today's. I'm talking about the two and three quarter, the older, older guns, the older Remingtons, the old Winchesters. They are comparable today to actually shoot just as well with a two and three quarter as the new guns will shoot with a three and a half inch mag. You don't believe me? Well, if you know what I'm talking about and you own an older gun and you've ever done a comparison with those, there's not much difference between the two and three quarter and the three and a half inch mag when it comes to shooting accurately that's what I'm talking about. In many cases, some of the newer guns, the reason they added those extra length in the shell or the bullet, if you will, is because they couldn't match. The newer guns just couldn't reach out there like the old ones do. And this one here now, I'm going to be up front with you. This is the first time that I've shot it. This is three three, three shots that I'm going to shoot. I've got one in, but I'm only going to shoot three targets. Let me show you how this works. Look at this. Let, beautiful strap. Notice that camo. Now, I forgot to tell you, this is the camo version. See, I don't always remember everything. I don't follow a script. Never will. Can't do it even if I tried. This is the camo version. Now, look right here now this is the first one that I know of let me show you let me take it out okay it's in it's out it ejects as well as loads from the bottom now to me that is very very cool now this is a man's gun let me get more, more bullets back out. I'll take the rest of it. It doesn't have another one in it. Just three is what I'm going to shoot. The reason I say that this is a man's gun, I remember back a few years ago, my son and I, I'll tell this very briefly. My son and I were in a, we were actually in a, on a turkey hunt. And we were in a blind. We were in a blind. And those big gobblers, many of them, a lot of the jakes, 
and a lot of the little guys were flying down and we had a big feeder there and that feeder they were just flying down from everywhere and we were sitting there in that blind and I was sitting on a bucket I'm talking about a five gallon bucket and I was shooting a three and a half inch mag I was shooting it out of a Mossberg 835 one of my guns but anyway that big gobbler flew down and my son was next to me I think he was standing up but I was sitting down on a on a five gallon bucket and I really wasn't balanced I really wasn't balanced and to make a long story short he said get that big gobbler do you want him he said first of all do you want him I said I guess <laughs> but anyway I took a shot at that bird and I'm telling you what I did that gun knocked me right to the back of that blind on my back. I landed on my back and it knocked me when I fired on that big gobbler. It knocked me down to the ground. I was off balance. I was sitting on a bucket and I really probably shouldn't have been doing that, but that's the case and it knocked me down. How many of you have experienced that over the years? hunting the big turkey. Now, that's, that's what happened to me. Now, take a look at this, this choke. Look at that, take a look at that. I'll get it right up there so you can see it. That choke, it just screws out like that. See that? And tightens the back up. That thing is where your power is. You could take down a big gobbler with this on average, oh my God, I'd be afraid to speculate. And if I do, many of you say, come on, you can't be serious. But I'm gonna tell you, you could probably do it out there. I would say at least over 50 yards without a problem, no problem. So let's load this up and I'm gonna give you a demo, okay? Let's load it up. Okay, got one in there. All right, now let's do it. Okay, now folks, you can't see me, but you can see my targets. Now, I'm gonna start on the left and I'm gonna make my way to the right. So let's do it. Let me get my gear off. I'm telling you folks, that is a man's gun. You can blow your target away with that. Trust me, you can do it. That is the most powerful shotgun that you probably have ever shot in your whole life. That's a 10 gauge. I've enjoyed bringing this video to you. That thing has got a kick. It kicks like a horse. I've enjoyed bringing this video to you. Listen, thank you so much for watching and you have a blessed day.